miss you, Carl. And you can't know how much I miss you. I'd give anything for us to be able to roll back the clock. I had a home, I had a loving father. We were happy. I was happy. And I didn't even know it. I just wanted my people to be free. But instead, all I did was lead them to disaster. I am trying to find answers, but everything around me keeps falling apart. What should I do, Carl? They're killing us. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but what choice do I have? I miss you, Carl. I miss you so much. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. What's your system status? I'm okay. The bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. The army built five different camps in the Detroit area. They're building more all across the country. They're preparing for a genocide. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus.
Save our people. It's my fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife Tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. I know, I know you're all angry, and I know you want to fight back, but I assure you violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, 
Others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please! Madam President! Madam President! That has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapons stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President! Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Please! Is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Thank you. That will be all. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders.
Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm really cold. Stay here. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to... Get order to check all civilians.
Fucking androids. Checkpoint. We have passports, it should be okay, but you never know. Is there another way? We could take a detour, but we might miss the bus. Maybe it's better to be safe. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Here we are, the moment of truth. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now or we will open fire. There's no turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free.
Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? Yes, Michael, we are less than 100 meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out, as long as we can. Stay sharp. And I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus for the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. We don't have tickets, they won't let us on. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? Marcus. I think You're Oliver dead. likes you. Please don't move. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. Got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. Security check. Please don't move. I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You kind of lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The, the envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... Stay here. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. I'm so sorry, honey. I don't know what happened. I found this on the floor. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You, you saved our lives. I'm sorry, Alice. It's okay. You did the right thing. 
We'll find another way. Please don't move. Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified you might have been killed because of me. How did you find us? Oh, I knew if you made it, I'd find you here. They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're checking for androids on the border. But I found a smuggler who can get them across the river. It's risky, but it's the only way. Are you coming with us? Yes, we're coming. Okay, climb in. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me! That should do it. We all know that's not gonna stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on.
Are you all right? They shot into the crowd. Many of us were killed. It could have been me. I'm scared I'd, I don't want to shut down. We're here because we never want to feel that fear again. Because we're more than what they say. That's what our people died for, right? That's why we're here. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. I lost all contact with the people at the camps. I can't hear their voices anymore. Maybe the humans have scrambled our network. Maybe they just can't get through. I hoped they would finally understand. That they would realize how much they're hurting us. Why do they refuse to see what we are? You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Stop there. What are we going to do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? We can only count on ourselves now. Marcus! Marcus, come look! Marcus! Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm unarmed, Marcus. I just want to talk. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? And that's a chance I'll have to take.
In a few minutes, the troops will be ordered to charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but none of you will be destroyed. Are you asking me to betray my people? I am offering you the chance to save your people. You're not walking out of here, Marcus. The only thing you can save now are the lives of those around you. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. That android... You seem to... really... care about her. You didn't want her to die, do you? You know, you could both be free. You could forget about all this. You could... Start a new life someplace else, just the two of you. Her life's in your hands, Marcus. Just say the word and she'll be spared. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. What did he say? The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. That human means nothing to me. You can kill him if you want, I don't care. I have access to your memory. I know you've developed some kind of attachment to him. Are you really ready to let him die after all you've been through? Are you really going to turn your back on who you've become? I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right, all right. You win. manage without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. 
Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of it. move! Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. All right. Where do we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... My son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who... <laughs> Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. Did anybody see you? No, no, no. I, I don't think so. You got the money? Yes. Here it is. Okay. Your boat's over there. They got border patrol on the banks and the river. Don't start your engine until you're out far enough. Okay? And watch the current. Good luck. It's not even a half a mile to the other side. Okay, so it shouldn't take that long. Be careful, there's border patrol on the river. Thank you so much, Rose. I only wish I could take you myself. I don't like leaving you out here. Goodbye, Atlas. Oh. You take good care of yourselves. Okay, I'll see you on the other side.
Freedom is just across the river. We're far enough out. We can use the engine. You okay, Alice? When we get on the other side, there are so many things I want to do. I want to read all the books in the world, and play music, and dance. We can do anything we want, right? We'll be free. Yes. We can do it all. We'll be like a family. What about you, Kara? What will you do when we're on the other side? What will I do? I don't want to feel fear anymore. I want to live a normal life. And be happy. Get to the other side before we sink. Thank you. 
interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the deviants' demonstration by force this time. know what caused it, but we will... We have many unconfirmed reports, but we have no official news on exactly what it is at this time. Explosion in the south of Detroit. We still don't know if there are any victims, but these events may be linked to the Android Rebellion currently taking place in it's the city. a dirty bomb, Madam President. My God. Androids. Thousands of androids are taking to the streets of Detroit at this very moment. They're absolutely everywhere. This... This is incredible. And the authorities have ordered the immediate evacuation of the city. If it really is a dirty bomb, then the radiation levels will be lethal for miles around. Detroit. Detroit has just fallen into the hands of the Android Rebellion. This is a disaster, an unprecedented disaster. Today, deviant androids triggered a dirty bomb in Detroit. This bomb released fatal levels of radioactive, toxic waste. To ensure the safety of the population, the military is evacuating all civilians within a 50-mile radius. The city may remain uninhabitable for decades. Moreover, the deviants are thought to have taken control of a cyber life plant and liberated over one million androids that were stored there. This is the first time in our history that one of our cities has fallen into enemy hands. We are going to fight them with all our strength, and we won't rest until we have taken back control of Detroit and destroyed the last of them. Humanity is about to face its most important battle one that will lead to our victory or our extinction. We! May God bless you all. Are! And may God bless the United States of America. Free!
Are we free? Yes. Yes, we made it. We're free. We won't have to hide anymore. We can be a family. I love you, Mom.